<laughs> Unzipping his tent never gets old for Kanish Kosen. Come on, Zendaya, come. Maybe because it's the closest thing he's ever felt to a home. I've never not one time had to question whether or not my housing would just be ripped from me. Go. Good girl, Zendaya, good girl. As he walks around his new community with his new dog, Zendaya, Kosen says his struggle started at birth. The son of addicts, he's gone from the streets to the foster care system, back to the streets. The hardest part has been um, honestly feeling less than human. My son right here. Maybe never more so than a few months ago, while sleeping on a nearby park bench where he would routinely meet his wife and baby boy who live in a nearby women and children shelter. He says he was told to leave and not come back. I always thought that life was just gonna be survival. I didn't know that there was, that I would ever get to a, a point in my life where there would be more than just survival. But then hope arrived. An outreach member from the Urban Alchemy Safe Sleep Village encouraged him to give the place a try. Here rows of white canvas tents line an empty parking lot, offering the unhoused a safe haven without strict rules on drug use, curfews, or pets. Not just like people are running around all willy-nilly in here with drugs and things like that, but it's, it's softer. Thank you, boss man, appreciate it. Each tent, costing less than a tiny home at 44,000, includes communal kitchens, sinks, showers, charging stations, and a TV ideal for those not ready to live indoors. This is a perfect model for those that are coming like straight off the streets, not necessarily ready for housing. A recovering addict who spent years in and out of prison, Terry Bell is now the director of the Culver City site. She says the organization has helped about 1,500 people across LA this year, with 36% finding permanent housing. I see people moving forward a lot faster. You know I love you. It's gonna be all right. For Cosette, this village has been more than a shelter. It's been a lifeline. With a new baby on the way, he's working towards becoming a security guard and securing an apartment for his growing family. This place is giving me a home that I never thought I would have, um, and I've received love that I never thought that I would receive and that my family would receive. If it takes a village to tackle homelessness, Cosette believes he has found his here. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your communities, click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV for the latest news and weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.